Hello and welcome to my full playthrough of Batman and Arkham Asylum. If you would like me to play the next game, Batman Return to Arkham City, then please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more. by escorting Joker through Arkham Asylum and then we meet this Joe who you will have to remember for later into the video. What's it doing? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you Cobra, down. Get that animal on the What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight! Get a light on him! What? Don't you trust me? Our guest. Now, this fighting section, the fighting in this game is beautiful, so I'm not going to go over it. So all you gotta know is that you can enter and you build a combo meter that gives you skill points, that then you can get better weapons and upgrade. Down there. Do you need help? No. I work better alone. Zaz is free! Oh god, he's got Mike! Franklin, can you hear me? If you can, help's on the way. Now we then beat up the guy that kidnapped the other guy so that we can save him and be the Zaz hero. is down, but not for long. Got to Someone put this animal back in his... Batman found a way out! Batman. Stop. Joker toxin. Listen, the room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help them, Batman? Hello, and welcome to the most annoying enemy in the game that you're going to see very often, and that this fight is going to be very common throughout the game. But hopefully you will win, but it's not common enough that it's very noticeable, it's common enough once you play the game to win. The only way to damage the boss is by hitting your ass with charge and the punching of the people.
So now we get introduced to the self section of the game, which then is pretty easy since you just gotta sneak up behind enemies and just click Y or the stuff button that shows up on the screen and you kill them instantly. We then find a new mechanic called glide kicking, which you use to knock down your enemies and then stun them. After I solve Riddler's puzzle, I then move on to the rest of Arkham to beat Joker. Massacre. Bulls came walking in telling everyone to cover the front entrance. Said something about Joker's army coming through the main gate. Two of my guys moved to the exit and Frank shot him dead. They never stood a chance. Was Bulls alone? Thought he was. Then I saw Harley Quinn. She was surrounded by Black Gate prisoners. I had Bulls good. I am now on the I outside of the island and now to go to outside the building uh, other than the train prison area. Explosive gel in the trunk of the back of the day. Day up. Oh no. And Dr. Young went to. Oh. I'm here, Mike. So now I have to save the doctors from Joker's men. I then save the first doctor by blowing up Joker's men. Unfortunately, I've been st I know. I've got one. Joker here! Checking to remind all the residents of Joker Asylum that they are expected to follow one simple rule. Punishment for not following the school is death. No ifs. Another doctor's right. 
building, then you won't. I'll just flood the rooms with happiness and leave you to die. Well, I may do that anyway. Sounds fun. I found the second doctor, but to save him I have to fight a bunch of Joker's minions to free him. I then find Permissioner Gordon, but he is dead and lying on the ground, not moving. I'm sorry, Jim. I then found body bags of my dad and my mom. Thank you. 
This section of the crow fight is pretty easy, because all you have to do is just dodge his gaze and not get hit. I then save Permissioner Gordon from Harley Quinn. You took longer than I thought. He's out of control. He's trying to prove something. I'm not sure I can stop him this time. You'll do it. Batman, listen. We're not alone. He's got something else down there. I don't know what it is. What a blabbermouth! Spoiling us a problem. So now we are in the bone fight. This fight is like all the other fights, but instead of punching him, you hop on his back when he rams into the wall. And there's also a bunch of enemies. I then made the back claw that you use to pull stuff down that's far away. Then I found an area that I can't use my grappling hook in. Guess who this is? We'll find you. Rip your flesh like paper.
I then freed even more doctors. Thanks. Where did I do? I can't believe you insisted on sitting through that movie again, Bruce. Come on, we'll be late for Alfred. I'm sorry, Daddy. Go easy on Tom. He loved it, so Alfred will wait. Keep up, Bruce. This fight is very similar to the last one, but this time you have to use the back claw to pull down boxes to hide. There's also skeletons. Listen to me carefully. Help me! I then saved the doctor. I then saved this doctor. I then unlock an item that makes it so I can hack stuff. I then get introduced to a new enemy that hops on your back.
The Harley Quinn fight is weird because you don't fight Harley Quinn, you fight Joker's goons while the floor is changing and zapping. After I beat Harley Quinn, I then leave Arkham Asylum to see that my friend died. I then save another doctor. This fight is a little different because there's two of them and you can go on their back and use that guy to see the other boy. After beating the two guys, I then unlock the zipline launcher, which then allows you to cross gaps. I then start playing as the Joker oh, and, and not, not Batman. I thought this fight would be like every other fight, but instead when I beat him, he just stabs me again. Are you enjoying the extra dose in the bed? There are three waves to this boss fight, and the first wave just has to be tight up on the floor. wave had me fight a big skeleton. Big skeleton and the little skeleton.
Why fight it, Batman? You're as crazy as the rest of us. You I then chase Scarecrow. I then find Scarecrow. Too late, Batman. One step closer, and this goes into the water. I then chase Scarecrow all the way to the Croc's lair. Sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. I then find Croc and throw a battering at him so he falls into the water. And if you're wondering what happens when he doesn't get hit with the battering, well, just see. I then have to find the spores that are scattered throughout King Croc's lair. These spores don't contain enough. I've got enough spores. Once I find all the spores, I have to get out of there without dying the King Croc. Once I escape King Croc's lair, I upgrade the bat claw so then it can pull down walls. The first pump is guarded by a bunch of enemies, and once I beat those enemies, I have to hack into the pump to stop it. The second and third pump are guarded by more enemies, and I have to hack into them individually. Once I deactivate all the pumps, I then have to fight a big guy. That also has a bunch of minions. I then sneak into Poison Ivy's greenhouse view and then I discover that she can mind control people. The fight is pretty easy, though you have to dodge attacks and throw batterings when she opens up. To start the second phase of the fight, you have to blow her up. The only difference the second phase has is that it summons minions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
before we can save Commissioner Gordon and fight Joker, we have to fight two big guys with a swarm of minions. to bring, bring down, down your, your grim, grim facade and for what? Let, Let you see, see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner, corner and bleeding. But you, you do not believe in that. that. I have, have nothing, nothing to live for. They won't kill you! To fight Joker, we have to fight swarms of minions, and the moment we kill him, we have to use the bat claw to knock him down and punch him in the face. Thank you for watching.